What's up guys, I'm Steven Gage. I'm a third quarter chiropractic student who is learning the Gonstead system of chiropractic and this is my journey on becoming a Gonstead doctor. So it's casual Friday today. I'm trying to, you know, casual Friday isn't a thing on our campus. I'm trying to make it a thing, so I'm making it a thing for myself, but here we are. And so in my last video, I talked about a lot, right? I talked about this new process, this new journey that I'm on, how I'm on the this new process of learning the Gonstead system, and my big goal for this year, which is to become a Gonstead officer, and then breaking down all of the things I'm doing to achieve that goal, and what I'm gonna document, and share with you guys and all this stuff and it was so much information go watch the video if you haven't yet and that's all great you know I outlined that I want to be a Gonstead doctor by the end of this year and let's just go right for it right but before we do that and before we go out and set out to accomplish any goal we have in our life we got to break down and actually analyze what does that goal mean so what does becoming a Gonstead officer by the end of this year actually entail what does being a Gonstead officer even mean I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about that and so the Gonstead officer is essentially a certification that we have the opportunity to take while we're students here at school that basically assures myself my colleagues and fellow doctors that I am fully competent in the Gonstead system. So we can become a Gonstead officer by going through the Gonstead club, which we'll take at the latest stage of club. And so the Gonstead club, it's here on campus. Uh, it's the largest technique club in the chiropractic school. I'll also have the opportunity as a Gonstead officer to be able to teach in club and to progress as a leader within the club here on campus. So that's all great and that's all happening this year, the process to get to that point the timeline from now until then. So in club, they organize it based on a tier based system. Okay, and reason being for that is because what an older student who's about to graduate is learning in club is gonna be different than somebody who's just starting in club, makes sense? So they have a four based tier based system. So if we draw our nice timeline out, there's a tier one, a tier two, a tier three, and a tier four. So in tier one was first quarter, so I've already completed that, so we can mark a red. That red marker does not work well. Hmm. We can check mark that. And uh, then tier two is second and third quarter. So I'm in this tier now in tier two as a third quarter student. And so once I finish tier two, I'll be in tier three, which is fourth quarter. Okay, so that'll basically be from April until July, I'll be in the third tier, learning more advanced material. And then once I complete my fourth quarter in July, we will graduate into the fourth tier. Now the fourth tier to get into this tier, we have to take a test. Now this is not the Gonstead officer test. This is just a test to show that we qualify to getting into fourth tier because tier four is the officer training program. Okay, so fourth tier is the officer training program. And then so I'll be in fourth tier then from July, which is fourth quarter, until sixth quarter, which will be in December. Right, so we're going from now, tier two, to tier four, from now in February, all the way to December, which will be sixth quarter in the Gonstead training program, fourth tier. And so just because I have finished tier four does not mean I'm automatically an officer. Nope, the tier four is just the period where I'm training to become an officer. I still have to take the officer test. So, prereqs. We're gonna look at the prerequisites now to become an officer. So to qualify to just to take the officer exam, I gotta meet these few requirements. So I gotta be a club member for four quarters, which I've already been a club member for three quarters. I have to have attendance for two quarters with fewer than two absences. So I gotta keep going to club. Like I said, I've been going to club since I first got here. Now this, I gotta do, I gotta be a six quarter or higher at Life University. So I know we do a quarter based system here. Some other schools do trimester, so it might be a little bit differently depending on what school you're looking at. I gotta have attendance at PIT. I'm not sure what PIT stands for, but I know that it's essentially a meeting. We meet once a week outside of club while we're going through the officer candidate program. Uh, basically to discuss case history, case notes, and really dive in deep in different educational stuff. So I gotta do that for a full quarter. And then last, I gotta have completion of two quarters in the opposite 
Officer Candidate Program, which the Officer Candidate Program is basically the tier four that we talked about, which I will be in from fifth and sixth quarter. So that's pretty much everything I have to do before the exam, just to qualify for the exam. But now I wanna take a step back and, and go a little bit deeper and look at the substance of what I actually need to learn to take the exam and what the exam actually consists of. So I'm not gonna go back there and write it out because you don't wanna see my handwriting, it's a mess. I don't wanna go back over there. I'm just gonna stay here and verbalize it, okay? So the exam, it is a two-part exam, one paper exam and one practical portion of the exam. The paper exam is 50 multiple choice questions and a short answer in written form exam. In the exam are the following, and I'm gonna, we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna sit right here, and we're gonna have the line going up, kinda like Star Wars theme. Should I get like the dun 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 dun? Anyways, are the following. X-ray line drawing, full spine X-ray setup, Gonstead theory, case notes, case management, pediatrics, extremities, Gonstead histories, and the analysis and adjusting. So essentially, you have to, we are being tested on actually being a doctor. If we look at that, now that provides the substance for what I need to learn, and that kind of shows the extent that yes, it's a very thorough exam. Yes, it is a very difficult exam. We have to know all of this stuff for an 80% can pass or fail. It's a lot, and that's why many students Many of the officers I've talked to now who are very smart people, they say that this was probably by far the hardest exam or one of the hardest exams they've taken here at school. However, you can look at it that way as if it's a negative thing. However, they said that it is the one exam that has prepared them no most to become a doctor. Why? Because it's a test that's literally testing you everything you need to know in being a doctor, right? So you can look at it from glass full, glass half, half empty. You can look at it like, wow, this is gonna be such a hard exam, I can't do it, wow, that's a lot. Or you can look at it as, wow, this is an exam that's gonna prepare me to be the doctor that I wanna be in sixth quarter, which is halfway through the chiropractic program. Hmm, wow. So that's where we're at. So now I believe we have properly identified the objective, which is what you want whenever you have a big goal that you're setting yourself out toward. The goal, yes, the goal is to become a Gonstead officer, but that's obviously not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to become a Gonstead chiropractor and to be a damn good one. So that's the ultimate goal, but the Gonstead officer is now my main target for this year, right? And I think having that goal, it provides me myself the target, it provides a monthly target and weekly target and daily targets that keep me on track and to keep me focused. That's putting me on that path, putting me on that track to hit my huge major goals for who I ultimately want to become in this life as a whole, but also who I want to become right now for this year and who I'm becoming on a daily basis. I think it's important for all of us to have this kind of way of being.